Bill Clements is a great Texas and great American success story. It's really one of those only, only in America lives and careers. He started professional life at 17 years old in the South Texas oil fields roughnecking. He did that a week after he graduated from high school because his parents were flat broke in the Depression. He came up with some innovative new offshore drilling uh, techniques and equipment, turned that into being the founder and CEO of Sedco, what became the world's largest offshore drilling company. From there, he transitioned into a career in, in defense policy. In the four years from 1973 to 1977, Bill Clements served as the Deputy Secretary of Defense. He brought a businessman's perspective to ensuring much more productive use of the assets poured into defense. There was a lot going on in the 70s that fell to the Department of Defense. To be able to use the resources that were available to the military to help fight the spread of communism, help fight the spread of terrorism, and of course Bill Clements did that just remarkably. Bill Clements was a great patriot. He believed in a strong military, but he wasn't cavalier about the use of force. A quote that he would often say to his staff at the Pentagon is, I am neither a hawk nor a dove. I am an eagle, and I want what is best for our country. Many of the weapon systems we have today uh, are due to his really transforming the Defense Department. Bill Clements, when he arrived at the Pentagon, had a vision for renewing America's military strength, not just through a larger military, but through a more innovative military. He really is the father of the F-16, the F-18, the M-1 tank, the cruise missile, weapon systems that 30, 40 years later are still the backbone of American force projection today. And so Clements is still regarded as one of the most consequential, influential leaders in Pentagon history. Any one of these would be an exceptional life professionally. But he also was the first Republican governor of Texas. After Reconstruction, he ran the state very effectively, and he left a billion-dollar surplus, which was unheard of. Bill Clements really was a brilliant man, and I think he got his knowledge and his wisdom partly from the School of Hard Knocks and partly from his own love of reading history. And for him, is realizing that the wisdom we can get from the past is very helpful for present-day circumstances and challenges. He tried at the end of his life to give all his money away. And I think that the two things he enjoyed the most were being a philanthropist and then running the Defense Department, which is why the Clements Center at UT is so appropriate to be named after him. The Clements Center for National Security is a research and teaching center here at the University of Texas, Austin. Our mission is applying the insights of history to current national security challenges and training the next generation of national security leaders and scholars. The historians look for what happened, what may happen again. And the Clement Center has brought a strong focus, not only in history, but in looking at how do you shape the strategies that can make some sense out of how we find our way in this very troubled world. We want to teach these young people the history of geopolitics, grand strategy, and national security decision-making over the centuries. You have to have the book learning, you have to have the theory as a foundation, but what the Clement Center brings are those practitioners that can really put the theory into context for the students. We've partnered with the Strauss Center for International Security and Law to launch the Intelligence Studies Project, one of the only programs on a university campus in the country dedicated to teaching and research about intelligence. We convene people. We bring people together to listen to the leading national security policymakers in the country. Every fall, we do a national security forum. We pick a different topic or theme each year, and then we'll bring out leading policymakers and intelligence professionals to speak on panels, to share their thoughts with each other, and especially to share their wisdom here with the campus community. For undergraduate students, we offer the Certificate Program in Security Studies, a chance for students in any major at UT to take a series of approved classes in various national security topics, then get a certificate on their diploma in security studies. For graduate students, we have our graduate fellows who are PhD students in a range of disciplines. And these students come together on a regular basis to collaborate on research, to explore professional development opportunities. Some of them are going to be placed in teaching positions at some of our leading universities. Others of them, when they finish their PhDs, are going to go work for the intelligence community or as, or as policymakers. We give our students opportunities to meet privately with national security leaders, such as a Secretary of State, a Secretary of Defense, a National Security Advisor, a CIA Director. And for our students to have an hour with a leader like that is an incomparable opportunity. 
Another key function of the Clements Center is we have a Maymester in London where we send a couple of dozen undergraduate students to study grand strategy, go to Normandy and see where D-Day happened. You're learning about how the British became great and what happened that reduced their global power. And you're relating that to current U.S. policy. I mean, it was not theoretical. You're there, you're seeing it, you're being inspired. This pin here was given to me by British veterans. After we came back from touring World War II sites in France, we sat down and I had the opportunity to discuss with them the special relationship between the United States and the British. The Clements Center, like so many of our programs at UT, prepares students for a wide range of careers. Many of them become practitioners. So we'll be actually formulating and executing on foreign policy and national security policy. I'm an analyst for a consulting firm, primarily terrorism, a little bit of transnational crime. I'm an assistant professor of public policy at the Sanford School at Duke University. I'm a junior studying Plan 2 and International Relations in Arabic. I'm an active duty Army officer, second year PhD student. I'm slated to take command of an infantry battalion. I'm working on a PhD and I am writing my dissertation on the origin and development of religious freedom and American grand strategy. I am an assistant director with the Future Europe Initiative at the Atlantic Council. I am a U.S. Army strategist and I'll be reporting to the Pentagon in the spring. I will start interning for the United Nations High Commissioner for Refugees this January. I'm a research assistant for the House Armed Services Committee. I I'm a student naval aviator at Naval Air Station Pensacola, learning how to fly planes. I'm communications director and policy advisor for John McCain at the Senate Armed Services Committee. The work that's done at academic centers and universities is important just in laying kind of the foundation of research that informs policy making. I think what I learned most during my time in Clements that's applicable to my current job is how history, strategy, and statecraft really come together to inform policy. That's where the rubber meets the road in terms of kind of facilitating the way that academia can really help inform the work that's done to protect the homeland, to defend our national security, and to provide for the common defense. I learned a lot about how to interact with high profile people in the defense community, and I also formed a lot of really important connections. History is such an underappreciated facet of policymakers. Something that I learned from Dr. Inboden while I was a student was that the conscious use of history is, is a great way to inform and guide decision making. And the Clement Center brings that all in a very digestible, usable, readable way that can have impact for policymakers in a variety of fields. For me, it's really the place where I can have a network of like-minded individuals to discuss current ideas of the day and have those conversations that I can't have over in my home school. I'm about to go back to Iraq in about a month and do post-ISIS stabilization there. And just being able to take these four years to look at what we did in Iraq and Afghanistan has made me, I know, a better practitioner and I'll be able to apply those lessons in my next job. One of the undergraduate programs that is really close to my heart is the bi-weekly coffee chats that the Clement Center hosts. The Clement Center helped me start that initiative. I know Will Imboden, our director, was tremendously helpful with my own career and my own appointment and has really led this center in an exciting direction. Probably every job that I've gotten since I was at UT in some way was connected to the Clement Center and Dr. Imboden. The key figures in my work were the key people at Clements, like Will Imboden. The Clements Center specifically gave me research dollars to help me fly to Washington, D.C. and conduct doctoral research as I was writing my dissertation. So the Clements Center has been a huge part of my academic and, and professional development over the past several years. They're putting so much effort into each individual. By doing that, the Clements Center is investing in the future of national security leaders. The Clement Center in its first five years has laid the foundation for being truly the best national security studies program in the country. Over the next five years, we're going to build on that foundation an incredible program that will not only be seen as leading in the United States, but seen as leading around the world. We're already seeing Clement Center alumni all over the world making a difference, whether at the tip of the spear for the military, doing intelligence analysis, making important decisions as policymakers, or the scholars and professors paying it forward for their students just as we try to pay it forward to them. Mm -hmm.